when the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome brought spices that they might go and anoint Jesus. And very early on the first day of the week, the sun having arisen, they went to the tomb. They'd been saying to one another, who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had already been rolled back. As they entered the tomb, they saw a youth dressed in a white robe sitting on the right side, and they were greatly amazed, and some would say alarmed. But he said to them, do not be amazed. You're looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Look, here's the place they laid him. But go and tell his disciples and Peter that he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him just as he told you. So they went out and fled from the tomb, for terror and amazement had taken hold of them. And they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. Now, Jesus, having risen early on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, from whom he had cast out seven demons. And she went out and told those who'd been with him while they were mourning and weeping. But when they heard that he was alive and had been seen by her, they would not believe it. And after this, Jesus appeared in another form to two of them as they were walking into the country. But they went back and told the rest, but they did not believe them. So later Jesus appeared to the eleven themselves as they were sitting at the table, and he rebuked them for their lack of faith and stubbornness because they'd not believed those who saw him after he'd risen. And he said to them, Go into all the world and proclaim the good news to all creation.